This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to this first look at sports on a Monday. I am Julian Gibson. We begin with some sad news. Longtime support of sports in the country. Pastor Nemo passed away this morning after a sudden illness. Mr. Nemo has sponsored many events in his lifetime. Some of them, the Carifta Games, Tabernacle Baptist Basketball Thanksgiving Tournament. And he has also assisted in a number of athletes furthering their education. On behalf of the ZNS Total Sports team, we send our sympathy to the family. And from softball come tomorrow, the New Providence Softball Association first round playoffs will continue at the Banker Softball Field. So far, the Sigma Brackets have had their way with the Electro Telecom Lady Hitters. Not only have they kept them scoreless, they have them in a 0-2 hole and it could be over come tomorrow. We got to come out here on Tuesday and just play the type of ball we've been playing all along. Um, we don't see them twice, so now we know what we need to do and they only have one pitcher. So. Game three, no more games to play, no, it's not necessary. Honestly, is this team focused and are you guys are prepared to win it all? I think they plan to the best of their ability. I mean, they can't do better than you are, so it is what it is. By all means, I come here Tuesday and try to win the game. If I want to win, I just had to sit the stand like other people, but come Tuesday night, I try to put it together. We begin sports on a side note, a household name and the development of sports in the country, Basel Nemo, passing away today after a short illness. Well, I got a chance to speak to his son, former cabinet minister, Fenton Nemo, on this untimely passing. The family didn't expect this. Uh, Daddy went to the hospital for a minor procedure. He was complaining some minor pains. And obviously, we later discovered uh, that his illness was significantly more than we expected and he rapidly deteriorated and uh, God um, dealt with it in such a way that uh, it was quick uh, but yet it was something that the family was able to swallow at the same time uh, so he wasn't able to suffer that much and so the family is coping with it it wasn't what we expected uh, but we are thankful because he got his three score and ten and we are in fact blessed for the contribution that he's made for this country and the father that he's been to myself the husband he's been to his wife and uh, the father he's been to his children and to his adopted children and to the many children of the Bahamas Moving right along, the New Providence Volleyball Association 2013-14 season getting on the way yesterday at the Donald Davis Gym. First up, the ladies, the defending champions, Scottsdale Vixens facing the Johnson Cherry Bombs, formerly the Truckers, the champs, started out fast, spiking their way. First set win, 25-16. However, in the second set, the Cherry Bombs pulled out a close 26-24 win. The Vixens would regroup and take the next two sets, 25-14 and 30-28, to start the season off on the right note. Cherise Bean and Melinda Bastian provided the spark on offense for the Vixens, while Camila Miller and Rudan Sims were key on defense. Just want to play a solid defensive game, um, come out, play tough every night, and try and come off with a win. Any adjustments, uh, players you picked up during the offseason to straighten your ball club? Well, during the offseason, we lost uh, one or two players, but um, we picked up um, Melinda Bastian and Rudy. Um, but uh, we may have a, a one or two more additions to the team that will help the nucleus to, to be a little bit stronger. But uh, we still have a little bit more work to put into it to try and get them um, firm and steady. In men's action, the defending champions, the Scotiabank defenders, needed five sets to get past the technicians. Now, according to league president Devin Smith, there are eight men and six ladies teams in the league this year, and games will be played Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Competition is started off relatively good. We're looking for a competitive season. Um, this was a year, especially in the men's division, where the senior national men team will be traveling and have traveled a lot. So we have teams um, distributed players distributed through the various teams, so we're expecting to see some high-level skills, and especially the men's side of it. And finally in sports, Bohemian pro baseball player Anton Richardson talking about his first season with the Rochester Red Wings, a AAA baseball team. After this, I'm going to head over to Venezuela in about a month's time to play some more baseball and kind of showcase my skills. Um, to look forward to see what my possibilities could be for, for next year in terms of a team and being in the right situation. So uh, me and my agent will sit down and see, see what, which team my skill set 
you know, uh, kind of plays in, plays in, plays in the best so that I could have the best chance of getting back to the major leagues because that's what it's about. It was a good year, you know. Um, looking back on it, I'm, I'm pleased. You know, I'm um, got hurt there at the end, and I never, you never want to be on the bench, you know what I mean? But um, other, I, I, um, I'm excited with what I did, um, and look forward to like the opportunities that this year I created for next year. Definitely disappointed that I didn't get back to the major leagues, um, which is always the ultimate goal. But you know, I think things, things will be bright for next year. I'm looking for someone who just who can give me a real, a real chance to get back to the major leagues. First and foremost, to go into spring training with a chance to make the club. And if not that, then maybe go back to AAA, but be the first guy that they look at to come up and help out if something goes, goes wrong at the, at the big league level. So that can be, that can be something that's important. Just, you know, whoever have a need for speed and somebody can be an outfielder and play great defense. That's what we're looking for. Well, that's all the time for sports on a Monday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. The Bahamas tonight continues in a moment. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.